Alright, I, I'm going to make a short video about this question. Uh, this is a function question for additional mathematics, means it's for MF, and then I find out this question actually is quite tough. So I, I think this is maybe is one of the hard question. Actually, one of my Facebook students actually sent this question to me, and I, I find out I never see this kind of question before in SPM. So I decided to make a short video for it. Alright, so okay, let's have a look on this question. Okay, the question basically says that given that the function gx equals to 2x plus 1, determines the function of g power of nx such that the n is a positive integer. Okay, so the first thing is I, I want you to understand is a uh, positive integer. Right, the, so the positive integer basically is mean, uh, is a is a positive number, it cannot be fraction, it cannot be decimal, must be something like 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is what we call positive integer. Alright, and then the sec second thing is a lot of students after they reach finish the second sentence, there's no idea what actually the question trying to find. Basically, the question asks you to write uh, gx in term of n. It's, it's sort of, yeah, what is the uh, what is the g power of nx in term of n, something like this. M means something that like you have to write the formula for gx, but then yeah i think it's maybe in terms of n so yeah so let's let's try to see uh how to do this kind of question so the first thing is i try to do g2x i mean okay this one we know actually equals to g gx all right so if g gx we understand that g gx basically means substitute gx into the gx isn't it so therefore i know this is g uh nope i'm I'm wrong. I mean, I, I will straight away substitute in. So I know this one basically is 2. Oops, let me undo it. Okay, I understand this one basically is 2. And then this is 2x plus 1. Plus 1. I mean, basically, I substitute 2x plus 1 into the x here. Okay, this is what happened with ggx. I mean, you substitute gx into gx. So that means this is 2x plus 1, isn't it? You just imagine the x itself become 2x plus 1. Right, then this is what I get. So then I will basically, I will, I will get uh, 4x plus 2 plus 1 again plus 3. Okay, this is g2x. And then I will try to do g3x. Okay, g3x basically is uh, substitute gx into the g g2x okay means substitute in g power of 2 la. so that's mean we have the g power of 2 here that's mean i need to substitute gx into this one so i will get 4 my x later i will substitute my gx into my x which is 2x plus 1 then i will basically i will get 8x plus plus 4 plus 7 okay so if i continue to okay this is what you will found Let's say I do one more. This is g4x. So basically substitute gx into the g3x. So I get 8, 2x plus 1, plus 7. Okay, so this is 16x, plus 8, plus 7, plus 15. Right, then, okay, this is uh, from 1, 2, 3, 4. So now basically, if I want to find gnx, means if I want to find a GNX, you must able to see the patterns of it. So, so okay, so let me do some summarize over here. So the first thing is for 2X, I know this one I will get 4. For 3X, I will get, I mean G power of 3, I will get 8. And G power of 4, I will get 16. And definitely G power of 1, I mean GX itself, this one power of 1, you will get 2X plus 1. And I will, you got one. So you will need to think some logics. You will see this is 2, 4, 8, 16. If 2, 4, 8, 16, the first thing coming to my mind will be 2 power of something. If I call 2 power of n, where n equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 until infinity. So therefore, when 2 power of 1, I will get 2. When 2 power of 2, I will get 4. 2 power of 3, I will get 8. And 2 power of 4, I will get 16. Exactly, it's a number over here. So the first thing I will write is, in order to get the 2, 4, 6, 8, 16x, I will say this is 2 power of 
n x all right so that's mean if my n is one this one basically is just one if my n is three uh n is just three all right now we solve this one already and then we will need to solve the other one which is the number over here okay you can find out when this is two the number basically is two minus one when this is four four minus one you get three when this is eight eight minus one you get seven when this is 15 16 minus one you got you got 15. so if this is 2 power of n i know the next one should be 2 power of n minus 1. isn't it if if this is 2 power of n just imagine let's say i i will do f uh, 1 g1x so you can find out this is 2 power of 1 x plus the n is 1 isn't it so it's 2 minus 1 you get 1 so exactly i get 2x plus 1 when this is g2 this is x so this is 2 power of 2 i will get 4x and then this is 2 power of 2 which is 4 4 minus 1 you will get 3 then you will get the second one same thing to g3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. okay so this one will be the final answer yeah the difficult part for this kind of question I will, I will always call this is n term question is you have to able to get the logic to actually write out the the n term so yes since uh, this video is quite short so let me just explain a little bit more so the first thing is you have to understand how to form this one two four six eight ten yeah if you want to form the n term from this one basically you i uh, know i mean this is 16 10 cannot be <laughs> I, I mean ah let me write again 2 4 8 16 32 yeah you have to understand this is 2 power of 1 this is 2 power of 2 2 power of 3 2 power of 4 and 2 power of 5 so n must always start from the 1 so this is 2 power of n if i try to make this question a little bit tough i will start from a 8 16 32 64 1 2 8 all right then this is 2 power of 3 2 power of 4 2 power of 5 and 2 power of 6 and 2 power of 7 so if you say this is 2 power of n then your answer will be wrong because n is always start from 1 always start from 1 because n is always 1 2 3 4 so that's mean if i substitute 1 i should get a so therefore then you have to understand how to find two three four five six seven so this one basically is n plus two yes this is basically the n plus two so you're trying to see when n equals to one here so you will get two power of three when n equals to two here you will get two power of four which is the second term so this one we call it first term n equals to one this one we call second term n equals to two this one we call third term n equals to three yes this is how actually we we solve this kind of question all right so yeah i hope you understand about this part so if you really want to learn about anthem because in spm actually we don't teach much about anthem uh of course you will you will you will learn this one in arithmetic progression or geometric progression topic mean in the progression topic but actually you have some easiest way to actually find the anthem so let me teach you about some sequence which is i I usually teach in the O level. So let's say I have five, uh, I have five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Now I want to find the n term. I mean I want to write uh I, I want to find the formula for it. it. Means when n equals to one I must get five, n equals to two I might get seven. So how to find this one? So first thing is normally I will do uh, I will try to find the difference between them. So basically plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. If you are MF student, basically you can do something like uh you can do something like a plus n minus one d. Something like this to find the TM. But then actually have some easiest way. Because this one mean whenever you minus or plus, you can straight away get two, right? So you remember the formula is just a m plus b. So the first, if you get a constant number two here, the a automatic become two. So this one we call it two n. Plus b, 
Okay, in order to find B, you have to substitute your N into it. So let's say, first term I know N equals to 1. Second term I know N equals to 2. This is the third term I know N equals to 3. So in order to find B, I can use either one of it. So let's say, I say 2M plus B equals to 5. This one when my N equals to 1. Correct or not? Because when N equals to 1, you get 5. So I will basically, I will substitute 1 into my N. So 2, 1 plus B equals 5, B equals to uh, 5 minus 2, which is 3. So therefore, your term is just 2N plus 3. So you want to know this one, is it correct or not? You can try to substitute 1 here. When N equals to 1, right? Imagine you get 2, 1 plus 3, you get 5. When N equals to 2, you get 2, 2 plus 3, which is 7. When N equals to 3, you get 2, 3 plus 3, which is 9. When, two, when n equals to 4, you will get this one, you will get 11. So exactly this is the number over here. Yeah, this is how to find the n term. You have to remember something like called am plus b. Of course, you can still use the mf formulas to actually try it out. But then for me, I never see the sequence question joined together with the function. So I think this question is quite special. I'm going to call it like very hot questions. The hot actually stands for higher order thinking skill question. So I hope this video actually can give you some insight on how to find anthem. Alright, and then if you have any easier way or you have any other way, please share with me. I love to learn more about this part. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any comment, you can either post on my Facebook, post on my YouTube or post on my Telegram. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.